yo, hier ist äh, Mo Tensen, you're watching Mo Style and uh, yeah, uh, next step, um, the, the last tutorial is about uh, bringing uh, Mixer Mo Motion Capturing Animation uh, right into Cinema 4D and today I will show you uh, what I do for uh, with the stuff, yeah, and uh, there was uh, just one, but there was a vote for uh, the technique uh, with the bubble boy, yeah, and uh, this is uh, something uh, I like to show you today, and it's very easy. So I, I think it could be a short tutorial. Let's see. Um, yeah, okay. Um, the last tutorial is here on YouTube. Um, when you just end right now, you have to see this, and this means uh, at the end of this tutorial you have the. Uh, animated character into Cinema 4D, yeah? And a uh, character with motion capturing animation means very natural human animation. So, and what I did out of these characters, yeah? I, I did a lot of stuff. Uh, the, the last one is, is maybe, you see it uh, posted here, that is uh, test stuff with X particles and so on. And uh, I, show you uh, the technique I like to describe today yeah and uh, the first where I used it is here and by the way it's, it's maybe interesting um, this is uh, the, the start because uh, I like to, to test this technique for our job we had this time <laughs> and uh, yeah and uh, the one who uh, kicks off this all is Mark Mailing by the way uh, he is, um, tells me that I uh, can use this technique uh, for, for the job and so I like to test it and this is uh, this is what I come out with yeah and and the second one is, is this thriller thing moment so, and this is, um, it's a bit different, but the technique behind it's exactly the same, yeah? And enough pre-words, we starting. So, and like I said, we starting. With a character in Cinema 4D, yeah, and this time it's it's not a, it's not a boy, it's a girl, but anyway, um, it's it's the same technique with boys and girls, but uh, yeah, like you know, uh, in Mixamo you can enter your own uh, meshes, so it hasn't to be a boy or girl, it could be a cat <laughs> or something else. Hmm. Okay, so this is the start, and what we do first is, and like I said, it's very, very easy. Um, this is uh, our animated mesh, yeah, with traditional uh, bones or joints and with a skin object attached to the mesh that moves the mesh. And at first we create a cloner and of course spheres, yeah, tiny ones and give the sphere to the cloner and because of uh, cinema for the internal structures is better to sort this cloner below uh, the, the object yeah because uh, cinema working hierarchical uh, in terms of the uh, object manager yeah he read what's oh, I show with this what first and this is for example uh, our animated body and the body is uh, moved by this skin deformer yeah and deformer is operations that means Simmer reads okay one operation a mesh is deformed and then it goes uh, to the next one the next one is this one or a cloner and the cloner uh, is for attaching the spheres and so Hiraku Hiraki lovely <laughs> makes more sense uh, to have it uh, below the, the first step, yeah? I hope it's understandable. Okay, and in the cloner, we set the object. And uh, please 
hit render instance before you, before you uh, attach it to the object because uh, the first step there will be very very much spheres and depends on the performance of your setup uh, this, this is going to be uh, uh, something uh, breaking, performance breaking stuff yeah and so it's, it's better you switch uh, render instances immediately uh, so uh, anything will be faster okay and then we uh, set object and easy one the body is the object and zack <laughs> uh, default is um, the cloner uh, attached one sphere on every vertex uh, of, of the body yeah? and so it looks like this do you set this to surface yeah and surface means uh, means just the surface of the body anywhere on the surface yeah and uh, default mode is 20 we need a lot of a lot more maybe 500 or something because at the end we like to cover the whole body in two spheres so and uh, yeah to, to make it more interesting we give the whole thing a random uh, oh that's one two a random uh, moment effector yeah like this and set this random not position is random the size should be random yeah this thing is for units well, uh, uniform scale yeah you can uh, choose the size in, in any any direction but we like to have uh, different size spheres so i switch to uniform and minus one and this means now all right you can see it we have uh, some kind of uh, spheres attached on the body in different sizes yeah and uh, so ready bye bye <laughs> no it's not it's not the end yeah um maybe if you like you you give this attachment uh, a few more uh, spheres uh, with different colors or something it's it's about you and your design ability of course it could be any object not just spheres spheres uh, you can attach uh, cars or something <laughs> anything you have and it's 3d but spheres are uh, the easiest one so okay now we have spheres on a character yeah? I, I copy this whole setup because i like to have uh, some bigger spheres too like this but not so much maybe just uh, 20 so and, and this is maybe uh, more or less the, the look um, I had for my uh, thriller dancer and uh, with the seat you can uh, choose the position of the spheres at the <laughs> surface and so you can switch a, a bit uh, with the seat so uh, when you like the, the the places where anything is attached then yeah maybe this and I'm afraid we need some more spheres like this and maybe we do a, a bit smaller ones like this okay okay so and, and in my example there were just spheres so uh, we didn't need the original body I set them to hidden and this is our dancer but let's have a look at our Swiller Dancer again. You can see the, the whole bunch of spheres uh, are not just attached on the surface. Yeah? Anything uh, feels uh, still dynamic and, and changed uh, slightly the positions and something. And this is the next step, yeah? And, and this is an uh, important thing, because uh, when you just attach the spheres on the body, uh, it didn't uh, look so funny, because uh, any sphere is uh, yeah, nailed on, on, on her place. And another thing is, uh, you can avoid that spheres uh, intersect each one, yeah? And uh, for this, we are using uh, dynamics, yeah. And at first, we're giving the, the ground. It's just a this in my case, uh, dynamic tag. Oh, I still do it, but 
<laughs> I create another one for you. Uh, simulation, collider body, okay, it's for the ground, you know. So, and uh, more important, this two cloners need simulation, rich body. So, it means uh, bodies with hard surface bouncing uh, at, it, uh, at each other. Oh. Yeah, it's weekend, sorry, <laughs> not so fresh. Um, so, the next step is because when you give the uh, simulation, uh, the Rich body dynamic simulation tag to a cloner. You have to set um, that he gives uh, his dynamic simulation ability to his child. Yeah, with this ability to child, set under collision and another one top level set. And this means you will see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you will see everything fall apart. But from this moment. Um, any sphere reacting um, dynamically and uh, of course <laughs> uh, every, sphere, every sphere that's stuck in another sphere uh, reacts uh, like uh, uh, yeah when the, when the dynamic is switched on they uh, uh, how, how is the word in, in English sorry abstoßen Mm -hmm. I have to Google. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I can't say it. Repooled. Reject. Better chip. Knock. Show. Nah, no, those are not a. Abwehr vertreiben. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't know. Uh, any sphere becomes a. Uh, impulse to to uh, knock the other spheres out of his way so and there is an easy trick to avoid this I, I show you some example with this uh, very complex 3d object yeah? uh, recording maybe some keyframes like this oh, that's not too much time So, so, and uh, the, the whole uh, dynamic simulation thing has something uh, that's original uh, is to smooth blending keyframe animations into dynamic animations. Yeah, show you what this means. This object for the moment is just keyframe, yeah, no dynamic. And when I give the cube, like the spheres, uh, uh, simulation, rich body tag, the cube falls on the ground, bounce, everything is okay. So, and there is something on the top force, uh, it's called follow position and follow rotation. And this is uh, to uh, avoid the object uh, to uh, get into the dynamic thing, yeah? When I said, for example, uh, well, from 50, you can see uh, our original cube follows his keyframe driven animation and but, but you can see it's 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 jittering a bit yeah because uh, the dynamics uh, affected this cube too and depends from the value oh <laughs> you can see um, when I lower the value the dynamic gets more and more in effect and this means for example when I animate this yeah like 50 50 half this way I just lower the values to zero then uh, and, and this is the reason why this uh, functionality is in uh, it's a mix from starting with a keyframe and then get fully into the dynamic simulation animation like this Boo. yeah and when you uh, remember bearing right, I exactly did the same with this guy. Dance, 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 and... Boom! So, this is the same technique. 
So very, very easy, like I said. So, and that is just to, to demonstrate uh, what is this for. The fun thing is, when you give um, your attached spheres on the human body, chung, uh, right value in the force tab, maybe 20 or something, yeah? Then, um, because the, the, the single spheres, uh, they hadn't some uh, keyframe animations, uh, just the information, stand on your position and now every sphere goes uh, driven by dynamic uh, in a position where they didn't intersect with other spheres but uh, the gravitation or something didn't uh, come in effect uh, because this is mixed with the information stay on your position so and um, this value is, um, yeah, when you, you do it too much, yeah, a value like 50 or so, um, you can see any sphere is struggling and, and finding another position and something. And when you relax this a bit, like with a, a lower value like this, yeah, they more or less uh, are smoothed and uh, just reacting when the when the animation is more dynamic, yeah, when the people, the dancing person swings her arms or something, then the spheres uh, jiggering with, and this is a cool effect because everything feels now very organic and dynamically, and yeah, and that's all. This is all, yeah. Okay, uh, the, the rest is, is easy, you can give. Um, uh, the spheres, uh, some materials, and uh, doing some oops, doing some oops, by the way, yeah, and doing some lightning, and uh, it, I will not spend so much time on this because uh, this is up to you how how uh, you like the things coming out in terms of look. So just give this scene uh, a bit global animation into Cinema 40 and yeah, to be complete. Oh, it's physical render right? too and it's slow, okay. So, and, and this is just the base, yeah? And, and from, from this point you can play so with so much things because, uh, like I said, it's, you can use any 3D object in this clone, yeah? Uh, imagine uh, dancing giant uh, out of build out of buildings <laughs> or something yeah uh, spheres are, are a bit more thankful because uh, they fit cool together yeah when you uh, maybe we can try we can try it so it's no problem uh, we just skipping the spheres and uh, give them um, some cubes and uh, when on right, the cubes should should travel uh, much more with her positions. No, it's okay. Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's not so easy because the, the spheres, because they are round, uh, can uh, find her position where really any sphere didn't uh, intersect in the next one with, with uh, cubes or something. It's of course a bit more complicated, but uh, doable. And okay, there's uh, cubes now, but uh, I like this uh, sphere thing more. And uh, the last thing may be interesting last thing, because this is a full body, yeah? And, and you see in, in the first example, uh, this guy has just um, spheres, bubbles on, on his uh, legs and an upper body. And this is maybe a last one I can show you too. It's, it's very easy too because uh, when I choose object and give them the object body, you have the possibility to uh, have selections. Yeah? And this means, when I switch this off and make our body visible, go to polygon selection Whoop. and now I can 
select any polygon I like to give the creature uh, spheres on the surface yeah this is a place where the soft, uh, where the spheres now appear and so you could you can create your own uh, fashionable <laughs> stuff okay maybe uh, whew, maybe this this guy uh, this girl should have um, spheres on the other body like uh, some kind of strange shirt yeah and maybe uh, yeah why not on, on the on the legs okay so when you make the selection you have to freeze the selection with selection set selection and I call this uh, here so and in the cloner in each one I give the selection to this free slot like this oh, I don't have to switch this on so and this is how you can give the uh, selections just on some body parts oh and this is interesting when you see uh, still see the, the body you can uh, see that the animation yeah it has some kind of delay it's because of the smooth setup and the force yeah and this is up to you because uh, now uh, it's it's not <laughs> you have to to show the body because uh, yeah when you didn't do it uh, it's just some flying spheres <laughs> and maybe for this case you have to to hire the the value of the force so the delay uh, is not so much this in this yeah but the jittering of the spheres is, is higher like you can see on on the legs. So, and this is up to you finding the, the right uh, value for your own creature and so that uh, maybe the delay is less and the jittering is, is less too and yeah. So, this is all for today. It's, it's any, anything I like to show you today. It's, it's very short and, and very easy to do and uh, from this point you can create any fun stuff you like. Yeah, it is possible to attach any 3D object on this character or do what you want uh, and uh, you can combine this with more effects and more stuff and it, it's, it's so much thing you can do uh, from this point. So uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys coming up with. Please uh, comment in, in the channel uh, what, what you think about and uh, send me your own uh, creations um, yeah curious to see what would you guys uh, making with this technique and the next time I will show you maybe uh, this breakdancing guy with, with the paper sheets on the body or something when you like and uh, yeah that's all from today yeah it's very short. This is uh, Motens and AJ, aka Kai Tenemann from Most Die TV the whole Episode is sponsored by Ida Ida and see you soon. Bye bye.